Hey folks, I'm Gadget Guy here, so I'm GadgetGuy.com with a pretty terrific piece of emergency gear to review today. The Eton FRX3 Emergency Weather Alert Radio Flashlight and Phone Charger. We throw out phrases like, this is a Swiss Army knife gadget, pretty loosely, but this little window radio does a respectable job living up to that moniker. It's designed to help people receive news and alerts during a disaster. To achieve that goal, it offers up several methods to power the onboard radio. You can pack in a set of AAA batteries or use the included rechargeable battery pack. Of course, a rechargeable battery is no good to you if following an emergency you find out that it's dead and the power's out. The FRX3 has two methods to recharge the battery pack. On the top handle is a solar panel for passive charging. This even manages a faint trickle charge in indirect sunlight. Eton estimates that the solar cell can fully recharge the battery pack with 10 hours of direct sunlight. Of course, that's a long time to wait if you need alerts, and Eton has included a hand crank for more immediate power. 90 seconds of hand cranking, approximately two rotations a second, will provide around five minutes of radio operation. The AM FM radio includes seven NOAA weather band frequencies for alerts, and you can also plug in another audio source through the auxiliary port. It's not designed to be a high quality listening experience, but it's perfectly adequate for some campfire side tunes. Let's take a listen. Hey, I mean, praying's for church, huh? Come on. I haven't seen you in church lately. <laughs> well, there's not much sense in my going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you'll be damned to hell! <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny! You're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it! They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it! You're acting like a child! Look, they're coming for you! Look! There comes one of them now! <laughs> There's a two-stage flashlight built into the handle, a pair of bright white LEDs, and a single red LED, a nice touch, as red light won't mess up your night vision as much. Where this thing really earns its versatility merit badge is in being able to charge phones and other gadgets. The rechargeable battery is only 600 milliamp hour, but using that or a trio of AAA batteries should be plenty to get your phone up and running for a couple calls. Unfortunately, the crank alone won't provide consistent enough juice, but you can always crank up the battery first, then charge up your other gadgets. I do have a couple criticisms with the FRX3. First, this is not waterproofed. Eton does make other models with rubberized gaskets for better water resistance, but I also don't have a lot of faith in the battery compartment and ports cover to keep water out. If the disaster you're most worried about is flooding, you would want to consider keeping this radio in some kind of waterproof storage or moving over to one of Eton's water resistant models. The FRX3 uses mini USB when most gadgets are now moving to micro USB. This is a small gripe, but cable compatibility can be a big deal when you're in a tense situation. Situation. I would prefer the same cable which charges my phone could also charge the FRX3. And lastly, speaking of cables, there's no place to store the charge cable on the radio, making it one more thing to keep track of. The unit is extremely versatile in how it can be powered, but the fastest way to recharge the battery is using the USB cable, which in an emergency might be somewhat easy to lose. And although those gripes can be solved with a little planning, and that's exactly what the FRX3 is designed for, planning ahead for potentially dangerous situations, keeping it in your home or your car as part of an emergency preparedness kit, and it makes a handy companion for you outdoor adventure types, providing a flashlight and some tunes. At a street price around 50 bucks, 
it's well worth the price of admission simply for the peace of mind it provides. As always, folks, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing and subscribing. I'll catch you all on the next review.